Career Advancement, Part 3, The Power of Resilience As the cool evening breeze began to settle outside the cafe, Emily and Daniel found themselves deep in yet another crucial aspect of career advancement, resilience. The earlier discussion on mindset and risk-taking had opened their eyes to the importance of adaptability. But now the focus shifted to what might be the most vital trait for long-term success, the ability to persevere through setbacks and failure. Daniel, we've talked about taking risks and breaking through invisible barriers, but I think there's another aspect that people don't talk about enough. Resilience. No matter how prepared we are or how flexible our mindset is, we'll face failure at some point. How do you feel about dealing with failure in your career? That's a good point, Emily. It's inevitable, right? No matter how hard we try, we're going to stumble at times. But the real question is, how do we pick ourselves back up? I used to be afraid of failure, but now I see it as part of the process. What about you? Have you had moments where resilience played a big role in your journey? Absolutely. There were times when I faced setbacks that felt like career-ending moments. But looking back, I realized they were just stepping stones. It's easy to get discouraged. But I've learned that bouncing back is a skill just as important as any other. Question. Emily. What do you think is the key factor in building resilience in one's career? Would you say it's A. Learning from failure B. Maintaining a positive attitude C. Seeking support from mentors and colleagues I'd choose A. Learning from failure in my experience, resilience comes from understanding that failure isn't the end. It's part of the process. Each failure teaches us something, and if we're open to learning from it, we come out stronger. That's a great point. I think too many people fear failure instead of seeing it as a learning opportunity. Every time I've failed, I've discovered something new about myself or my approach. Exactly. It's not about avoiding failure, but about what we do after it happens. Do we give up? Or do we adapt and try again? Emily then shared a story about a time she was passed over for a promotion she thought she was perfect for. At first, she was devastated, but instead of giving up, she used the rejection as motivation to improve her skills and ended up getting a bigger opportunity later on. Daniel also shared a similar experience of being rejected from a role he thought was the next step in his career, only to later realize that it had pushed him toward a better direction. Emily. I think resilience also ties into another aspect of career advancement, maintaining long-term motivation. How do you keep yourself motivated after experiencing setbacks? Question. Daniel, what do you think is the best way to maintain motivation after facing failure? A. Setting new achievable goals b celebrating small wins along the way c taking time to reflect and recharge i'd go with b celebrating small wins along the way i've found that after a failure 
it's easy to feel overwhelmed by how far we still have to go. But celebrating the little victories helps remind me that progress is happening, even if it's slow. It keeps me focused and motivated. That's so true. Sometimes, we get caught up in the bigger picture and forget to acknowledge the small achievements that show we're on the right track. I found that when I stop to appreciate the small things, it gives me the energy to keep going. Exactly. I think small wins are like stepping stones. They might not seem like much at first, but they lead us toward bigger goals. And, of course, taking time to reflect is also important to make sure we're still heading in the right direction. Their conversation turned to the importance of finding balance in their careers. How, after facing challenges, it's essential to step back, recharge, and refocus. Emily talked about how she takes breaks between major projects to regain her energy while Daniel mentioned the importance of disconnecting from work occasionally to avoid burnout. Daniel, another part of resilience that often gets overlooked is the importance of a support system. Whether it's friends, family, or colleagues, having people who believe in us can make all the difference when things get tough. What do you think about the role of support systems in career resilience? Question. Daniel, how important do you think it is to have a strong support system in building resilience? A. It helps you stay grounded and focused. B. It provides encouragement during tough times. C. It offers new perspectives and advice. I'd say B. It provides encouragement during tough times. When we're going through a rough patch, it's easy to lose perspective and feel like we're failing alone. But having people around who believe in us can make all the difference. Their encouragement can be the push we need to keep going. I couldn't agree more. There have been times when I was ready to give up. But just talking to a mentor or a close friend helped me see things differently. It's easy to get lost in our own doubts. But having that external support brings clarity. Exactly. And sometimes, we just need someone to remind us that setbacks are normal and they don't define our entire journey. As their conversation deepened, they both acknowledged the importance of community in their professional lives. They agreed that resilience wasn't something built in isolation. It was cultivated through the help of those around them. I think what we've discussed today really highlights the fact that resilience is multifaceted. It's about learning from failure, celebrating progress, and leaning on others when necessary. Do you think resilience is something that can be actively developed? Or do you think it's something you're born with? I believe it's something that can be developed over time. No one is born with unlimited resilience, but the more challenges we face, the stronger we become. Every setback is an opportunity to build resilience if we approach it the right way. Exactly. And the more resilient we become, the easier it is to keep moving forward in our careers no matter what obstacles come our way. As they reflected on everything they had talked about, mindset, risk-taking, preparation, and now resilience, 
Emily and Daniel felt that they had a clearer understanding of the factors that truly drive career advancement. It wasn't just about technical skills or professional networks. It was about the ability to keep pushing forward when things got tough. As the cafe began to empty and the night drew in, Emily and Daniel walked out with a newfound appreciation for resilience, knowing that with the right mindset, support, and perseverance, no career challenge was insurmountable. Here are five final words and phrases related to the theme of career advancement, the power of resilience. Resilience. The ability to recover from setbacks and keep moving forward despite challenges. Failure. The act of not achieving a goal, which can be a valuable learning experience in career growth. Motivation. The drive or desire to keep pursuing goals, even after encountering obstacles. Support system. A network of friends, family, colleagues, or mentors who provide emotional and professional encouragement. Small wins. The minor achievements that help maintain momentum and motivation over the long term.